Welcome in this new episode of One Year with Film Only. Today, we are making film soup. For those of you who've never heard about film soup before, it's basically a process where you purposely damage the surface and the emulsion of your film with chemicals. It can be done with detergent, alcohol, salt, vinegar, whatever you want. We usually do this with uh, color film and color slide film as well because we are looking for color shifting. If you do this process with black and white film, it won't have the same effect. It will damage the film in some way, but we won't have the obvious color shifting that we have with color film, of course. Uh, for this episode, we're going to try with a roll of ro uh, Rolechrome CR200. This is a slide film, meaning that it's supposed to be developed then in E6 chemicals. As I don't have these chemicals, we're going to cross-process it in C41 chemistry. What will happen is, instead of having a positive image, this will give us a negative that we will later turn into a positive image in the scanning. I shot this roll about six months ago on my Leica M6 and I have no idea what's in there, so it will add to the surprise. There are different ways to do this process. Uh, you can simply drop the roll for a few minutes in the liquid of your choice, then let it dry and develop it. Some people also like to do it before shooting the film, so they will uh, damage the film, let it dry, wind it back into the canister and put it in the camera. And then the advantage of this, uh, this way of doing it is that you can directly uh, develop the film afterward. For today's episode, we're going to do a slightly advanced technique of film soup. What will happen is, I will um, put some chemicals and stuff that I have selected here onto the emulsion, we're going to clean it, we're going to wind it back and we're going to cook it for a few minutes in boiling water. Before we start, I just want you to know that we're going to use a dummy roll for the video. Some parts of the video will be switched in black and white, it means that this step must be done in complete darkness. Okay, so for the film soup, I'm going to use a bit of lemon, bicarbonate of soda, here I have a bit of salt and uh, vinegar. You also need a hair dryer if you want to dry the film faster. And of course, your saucepan. Now I'm going to spread a bit of uh, bicarbonate of soda onto the surface and then spray a bit of vinegar. I have here clear water. We're going to rinse the film now to remove all the, the crystals of soda and salt because we're going to rerun the film afterwards and we don't want it to be the, even more scratch than it already. Once you've rewinded the film into the canister, you can switch the light back on and go in the kitchen to boil the film. The water is not boiling, but before we put the film inside, you have to know that if you let the film for too long in there, it's gonna melt and it's gonna ruin your film and the images won't be usable. So pay really attention to don't let the film too long. And if you see that the tip of the film is starting to melt, take it out immediately and pour cold water to stop the, the boiling. I'm setting up my timer for three minutes. I'm gonna put the film now. Okay, I see that the film is starting to curl a bit, so we're gonna take it out now, and it's just one minute, so I think that's enough. And now we're gonna put it in cold water.
next step will have to be in the dark room, so we're gonna switch back to black and white now, so we can dry the film safely. Lots of blue. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and that it could give you some inspiration and motivation to try this yourself. If you have a combination of film and chemical that work good, let us know in the comments so we can try this ourselves too. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video if you did. I'll see you soon in the next episode.